Sumit, great to have you with us uh, here on Business Today and yet another big announcement with CoinDCX Ventures. Tell us uh, what you're planning to do with this and the kind of companies you're looking to support. First of all, thank you for having me here on the show again, Abha. And about CoinDCX Ventures, it's an initiative by CoinDCX, uh, which is there to support and accelerate the growth of a three ecosystem. And one of the exciting thing about CoinDCX Ventures is that it's built on top of CoinDCX, which is the largest exchange in the country. And uh, from our side, it's, it's basically a key component of the overall uh, ecosystem play. And what we'd like to do with CoinDCX Ventures is that uh, we would like to use this initiative to nurture, shape, and grow the future of finance. The size of the fund, uh, Sumit, uh, you know, you talked about how it's 100 crores, uh, but uh, what's the application process? Uh, how do you filter the startups that may be looking to avail of these funds? Are you looking at uh, a certain amount per startup as well? Um, so about the ventures, uh, the overall fund sizes uh, we have set aside is roughly 100 crores. And the plan is to deploy it over the next 12 months or so. And we are looking at investing in roughly 40 to 80 startups over the next 12 months. Uh, the typical check size is around $100,000 to up to a million. Uh, so primarily it covers the seed stage investments in Series A. But the mandate from our side is pretty flexible. Uh, we have even done investments in companies which are beyond this scale as well. Uh, uh, very happy to announce that we have already made seven investments and many more are in the pipeline. Uh, and if anyone uh, wants to be a part, uh, you know, wants to apply, they can reach out to our ventures team at uh, ventures at the rate coindesics.com. And they can also visit our website, which is hosted at coindesics.com slash, uh, slash ventures. Uh, in terms of the sector focus, we are looking at companies who are solving for themes like uh, uh, making crypto investing easier and safer for the masses. Companies who are solving for crypto as an investment class. Uh, companies who are uh, uh, building custody solutions, uh, working on the compliance side. DeFi is a very active area for uh, of interest to us. So anyone who is working on the uh, 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 DeFi companies, which are building Web3 uh, developer tools, and uh, you know even even uh, companies who are taking Web2 uh, applications and building it in a decentralized manner. So we are very excited across uh, all the themes that uh, covers the larger Web3 ecosystem. Will you also be housing some of these startups? Uh, you know, will it work like an accelerator or would it be pure play investing? Uh, so we do not operate like an accelerator, but we can uh, 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 add tremendous value to our portfolio companies due to our unique vantage point. There are various uh, very uh, uh, obvious benefits that we can add to our portfolio companies, uh, starting with things like a global uh, crypto networks. So we can connect our portfolio companies and we have done that uh, very actively uh, connected in, in them to global crypto VCs, uh, helping them build the communities and uh, also making sure that uh, we're able to leverage our strategic partners to help them out in their vision. Uh, apart from that, there are a few crypto specific uh, values that we can add to these companies uh, in terms of tokenomics, in terms of uh, listing connects, in terms of product and technology advice. Uh, we are also able to leverage our point D6 infrastructure right and a uh, full range of capabilities and uh, 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 tools that we have developed for point basis which we can extend it to our portfolio companies if any company indian company wants to go global we can help them with that if any global company wants to come to india because of our large user base uh, they can directly get instant distribution instant access to uh, the larger retail crypto base uh, we can uh, you know our portfolio companies can also uh, interact with our team members uh, our, our set of uh, 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 technology uh, experts, advisors. Uh, we are also uh, uh, opening up our exchange infrastructure uh, so that anyone who is who wants to build on top of crypto, they don't have to build things from scratch. They don't have to reinvent the wheel, but they can either, uh, you know, they can directly use our infrastructure so that they can go faster in their journey. And if anyone wants to uh, take help on the hiring front, we, we do that proactively, whether it is on the legal compliance side. Uh, we have already saw a lot of these things which are uh, you know, which which we have solved for coin DCX, we can extend uh, to our portfolio companies. How do you see coin DCX uh, working as an enabler in the ecosystem, Sumit? Given that you have such a wide base, both of users and developers, now with coin DCX ventures, how do you see uh, the impact of this uh, multiplying? Yeah, so we have a very uh, uh, unique vantage point in terms of uh, let's say sourcing, right? So we believe that in the long term, India is going to have the largest Web three community. 
And as a result, we are going to see very high quality web based startups coming from India. We've already seen few examples which are uh, which have now become companies which are uh, you know uh, over ten billion dollars or in the billion dollar category. So I I believe that in the next uh, coming years, India is going to dominate the Web3 ecosystem. A lot of these high quality startups will come from India because of the massive talent pool that we have already and the ongoing interest uh, uh, from, from uh, engineers to build for Web3. So that's something that we have access to. And we believe that uh, being uh, located in India, we have a very unique advantage there in terms of sourcing these deals. Uh, the second point is that we are also, uh, Coindies also has one of the largest retail crypto uh, user base and uh, the rate at which retail investors are adopting crypto, uh, India is going to be one of the most exciting market uh, for crypto globally. So if any project wants to get exposure to uh, this user base, who better to partner with than the leading exchange in India uh, itself, right? So that's something which we can add tremendous value to. And uh, other than that, I think uh, given that Coindex's Ventures is built on top of CoinBCX, it gives us a very uh, unique uh, 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 very uh, interesting position where we can leverage the kind of insights that we have uh, uh, gained and the experience we have over the last four years of building. We can we can uh, uh, add a lot of value to these ventures who are uh, uh, going to be a part of Pointis Ventures Initiative. You're also, of course, a supportive of Indian startups. So will the funds be primarily for startups born and housed in India uh, and, uh, you know, from all parts of the country as well? See, uh, uh, the, for, uh, the fund is uh, having a global mandate, uh, though we have a bias towards Indian projects, but we, given our ability to add value to these projects, we uh, uh, want to target global audience. So any project, as I mentioned, right, either coming from India or outside India, uh, if they want to enter India, we, we have a significant uh, advantage as compared to any other fund out there. But the mandate for Coinbase's Ventures is uh, global in nature. Uh, and uh, uh, Primarily, crypto is a, 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 a asset class which is not uh, bounded by any geography or any region. So, uh, uh, because it's global in nature, uh, as a fund, we are also fairly global. All right, so thanks so much for joining us, Sir, and congratulations once again. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.